All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, of Great Millstone, and salutation and much love to you, Akim out there pushing out his word and truth sincerity. And um, I just want to do a quick video, you know, speaking on, uh, you know, not taking things into your own hands, so to say, and trying to get vengeance, exact vengeance. You know, hey, ultimately the Lord is going to do, you know, the um, the vindication. He's going to bring us the vindication and, and justify us and, you know, bring revenge for, for us and the things that have been done unto us. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and start in the book of Romans. Chapter 12, verse 19. It says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. So we have to give this, it says, but rather give place unto wrath. So we have to allow this to happen. We can't take things into our own hands. All right, let's go to that, the Ed Ma, or not the, the, the blue letter here. And, uh, for the word vengeance because again this is this is of the lord this, or the vengeance the the wrath that the lord's going to bring it's according to him not according to how we feel and what we want to do all right that's why i said give place unto wrath all right it says for vengeance uh it says uh revenging vengeance punishment the greek word g1557 ectakasis Strong's G, 1557. Ekdikesis. Ekdikesis. All right. All right. So he's uh, uh, revenging, vengeance, punishment, uh, vindication. All right. Um, vindication, retribution, punishment. So the punishment that's going to be brought onto our enemies is going to be according to the Lord. All right. All right. Through the Lord. It says, um... For it is written, vengeance is mine. So the vindication, the punishment, the revenge is of the Lord. He said, I will repay. So, you know, it ain't up to us, you know, take up arms and fight against the government and, and do nothing. You know, all we got to do is what we've been commanded to do. Teach this word, push out the gospel. All right. Exhort one another. Walk in the, in the light. But we're not supposed to come up against this, this place carnally. All right, spiritually we are because we're casting down strongholds, but the car, the physical manifestation of taking our enemies down is going to come when Yahweh Shai comes. All right, let's go to Zephaniah three and eight. It says therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up. So it says, wait ye upon me. So we got to wait upon the Lord. Until what time? It says, until the day that I rise up to the prey. All right, so the Lord hasn't come back yet and rose up against the prey, the ones that put us in subjection, the ones that have oppressed us throughout the years. First and foremost, Esau, Edom. It says, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms. All right, because ultimately they're going to be gathered in the, in the valley of Yeh uh, uh, Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shabbat, the Lord's judgment. All right, that hasn't happened yet. It's taking place. It's, it's beginning to happen, the gathering, but it hasn't taken place. The Lord hasn't come down and, and, and met them down there. All right, it says, For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation. See, the Lord's indignation. It said, Mine indignation. All right, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my justice. So the Lord is going to bring that fire to nuclear missiles, which is his vengeance, man. All right. We don't have nuclear missiles. So how can we exact the Lord's vengeance? Okay. Ultimately, those are those are the weapons of, of his indignation. And he's going to bring them. All right. When he returns with his chariots and his host, the chariots are going to be doing some zapping. And those, those uh, uh, thermonuclear missiles are going to be flying through the sky at the same time. And they're going to be destroying America as a whole. All right, other other uh, uh, places uh, throughout the world will be destroyed 
you know, or damaged with these nuclear missiles, but America as a whole will be destroyed. All right. And again, it's the vengeance of the Lord. So let's go to Psalms 94 verse 1. It says, O Lord, power, O Yahweh, power, to whom vengeance belongeth. Right? Because ultimately it's the vengeance of Yahweh, but he's going to use his son to exact that vengeance, okay? O power, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. Who is the proudest people on the earth, man? Esau, Edom. And two-thirds of our people, of course. But Esau, Edom, all right, the scriptures say, no, but thy, thy pride has deceived thee. Okay? Esau, Edom is the proudest all right, creation ever. Because he thinks nothing is going to be able to stop him. Verse 3, Lord, how long shall the wicked... How long shall the wicked triumph? Well, we can answer that in the book of Job. All right. Job chapter 20, verse 5. It says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite before a moment. So the so the, the wicked is only going to get to rejoice. All right. A triumph for a short time. But for a moment, because really they haven't been ruling that long, man. It's been half a day in that side of the Lord. All right. Since we'll go back to the 1492, it's been half a day unto the Lord, man. That's nothing. It's just but for a moment. Con co uh, um, comparing it to the kingdom of heaven, which is everlasting, would never end. This is nothing. Okay. Verse 4 says, How long shall they utter and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? All right. Until the Lord comes back and, and brings his vengeance. That's how long. And this nigh at hand. All right, the Lord is about to bring his vengeance, and it's clear that he's setting up the stage for it. All right, the signs are here. All right, the wars, rumors, of war, earthquakes in diverse places. All right, everything that the Lord said would be happening before his return is taking place. All right, so those are the signs of him coming back to bring his vengeance. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 34. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 1 it says, Come near ye nations. Remember we just read in uh, uh, Zephaniah 3 that he, he wanted to gather the nations, right? It says, Isaiah 34 and 1, Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that there is in, so like, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. Alright, because why? All of them nations have come up against us one point. At one point in history, okay, and they've treated us, uh, uh, the apple, they, they treated the apple of the most high's eye, all right, like trash, okay. It says, and his fury upon all their armies, he hath utterly destroyed them, he hath delivered them to the slaughter, which is again is going to be in the valley of Yahweh Shabbat. All these armies gathered in there, all right, because when the Lord returns. They're going to stop fighting each other and try to fight against the Lord. But it's going to be to no avail because they're going to be destroyed with a great slaughter. Verse 3, their slain also shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. And the mouth shall be melted with their blood. So the Lord's going to not only destroy the armies, but destroy the governments. All right. He's going to take down all these powers, all these kingdoms. Okay. Verse 4, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved and the heaven... The heavens shall be ruled together as a scroll. That's those thermonuclear missiles, all right? Those warheads exploding and making mushroom clouds. That's why the scripture is talking about the heavens being dissolved and the heavens shall be rolled together. <clears throat> Google, watch some videos on a, 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 a nuclear or atomic weapons, how they explode. And you're going to see those scrolls is going to look like a, 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 the heavens being rolled together as a scroll. We were aka the mushroom clouds. All right, this is and all their hosts shall fall down, hosts meaning armies, as the leaf falleth f off from the vine. All right, and as a falling fig from a f from the fig tree, which is in an arching manner, and that's exactly how those thermonuclear missiles are going to be shot to the heavens and come back down. All right, verse 5 For my sword shall be bathed in heaven, the sword being the nuclear missiles. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. So ultimately, again, the main place of judgment is going to be here in America. The main vengeance the Lord is bringing, the recompense, the punishment, all right, is going to be here in America. 
the land of Idumia. All right, uh, the modern day of Idumia is here in America. All right, the people of his curses is, is the Idumians, the Edomites. Verse six: the sword of Yahweh, the sword of Yah of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra, like Apostle Tahar been hitting on, man. The great sacrifice is going to be here in America. The greatest sacrifice ever, okay? The, 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 and Basra was a chief city of Edom, which is America today. And what, what was the, the blood and the, the fat of the rams and the, and the, the, the blood and the, of the lambs and the goats and the fat of the kidneys? and the, All that was the sacrifice, all right? So it says, for the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. So the great sacrifice is going to be here in America, okay? I'm going to jump to verse 8. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompense. Recompense mean to be paid back or to pay back in the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion. So the controversy of Zion being all these nations putting holding us in subjection. All right. Doing all these atrocities. First and foremost, Esau, Edom. All right. Uh, uh, putting us in, 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 in horrendous situations, man. Unspeakable things have been done unto us at the hands of our oppressors. All right. Well, now is the time for the Lord to bring his vengeance, that recompense. Okay. So, um, I don't want to make this too long, honestly. I keep going. So, let me go to a couple, hit a couple more scriptures here. Let's go to the book of Sirach. All right. Sirach 5. Verse 7, it says, all right, oh, actually, it's like, it. um, let me go to, because this is, if you don't want to be part of that, the vengeance of the Lord, you don't want to part, uh, eat, uh, uh, if you don't want to be part of the ones that are going to get vengeance on, all right, or get revenged on, you better come back to the Lord if you're an Israelite, so, uh, let's go to Isaiah first. Isaiah 35 and 4. It says, Say to them that are fearful, fearful of. So, like it say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. And that's what we're teaching out there, man. To the, to the elect, to the one third of the nation of Israel. Be fear, don't be fearful, be strong. Trust in the Lord, be courageous, right? Say, Behold, your power will come with vengeance, even the Most High with a recompense. He will come and save you. That's the mentality we need to be in. And that's the mentality that we push out, man. Yeah, because the Lord's coming with vengeance and he's coming with payback. Right? Like uh, James Brown said, the big payback, right? Payback. Payback. You know? So, he also going to bring salvation. He said he will come and save you. So, that's the spirit we got to be in. But before that time comes, you got to come back to the Lord in truth and sincerity and repent. All right, so now we'll get to Rock 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not all from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So you need to come back to the Lord and serve him in truth and sincerity before it's too late and you'll be destroyed. Okay, plain and simple. So repent or die at the end of the day. You don't want to be part of... Of the partakers of the vengeance of the Lord, all right. You want to help the Lord bring His vengeance when He returns, all right. Wait ye upon the wait ye upon the Lord, all right. When the Lord starts bringing that recompense, then Lord's willing we get to help Him out. But you want to be on the right side of this thing, okay? So come back unto the Lord before it's too late. Seek ye the Lord while He may be found. Or taste of the taste or taste of of all right of the um the vengeance that the Lord's gonna bring, the great wrath that He's gonna bring. Okay, so with that, Kahalai Yahweh Shalom.